Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a worth the buy or not nah on the very new Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. So this is extremely talked about right now. I think some influencers are in New York City with Marc Jacobs for the launch of this going to fashion show, which is so freaking awesome. That's like, that's a dream. So good for them for doing that. And I actually ordered this as soon as it came out on Friday. So last week I ordered it, it came within like two days. I used um, the two flash day shipping with Sephora um, because I'm a VIB Rouge member. So I love the way that they do shipping because it's just fast and easy and it's free. So it's worth it. Um, but I'm really excited about this because you guys know that Marc Jacobs has come out in the past with some great foundations. And to make things even better, they launched a huge shade range, which is so stunning. And it just makes me really happy that they're doing something to move in the right direction. Um, the packaging is much different than the other ones. The Remarkable Foundation, you guys saw that it was kind of in that really pretty like glass, glass jar. And this one, if I can get it out, comes like this. So the packaging to me, looks a little bit more cheaper and just kind of like, I don't know, kind of ratchet, but it looks like, I don't know, maybe they invested more money into like making everybody shade and like finding more shade colors, which is awesome than like the actual packaging. I feel like this is really easy packaging for like traveling, something you can just throw in your bag and you're good to go. It says that this foundation is a self-setting finish, invisible SPF, and a youthful looking appearance. So that's what we're gonna be testing out today with this little guy. I wanna say this was like $39 or $49, I think it was $49. So it was cheaper than the remarkable Marc Jacobs Foundation, which I think was like 50 something or even $60. It was kind of pricey. Um, I got a little red, so excuse my, my redness right now. Um, but I'm excited to try this. Like always, we are going to be using our sponge and our brush so that you guys can see exactly how it does with both products. Before I go ahead and start with the foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and prime a little bit. I'm gonna be using my Benefit Professional Matte Rescue, and I'm just going to be applying this in the areas where I get a little bit oily, but also where I have kind of like enlarged pores. And now we're gonna be taking the foundation. Now this is in the color Medium Y360, so it has kind of like a yellowy undertone. Um, and I think this will match me pretty good. I'm hoping so. Um, and we are just gonna open this guy. So it's kind of like one of those, those that you just kind of squeeze out. And let me see what it looks like. So it's not super runny, but you can see that it's definitely not thick because it's definitely moving. So let's see how this does. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna take our Morphe sponge. I like the consistency. It's kind of velvety and it's going onto my skin really easily. You can see how fast it blended and it covered pretty quickly. I was kind of worried that it wasn't gonna cover much. You guys know if you've tried the Remarkable foundation by Marc Jacobs. That one is like full blown coverage right away. And people were obsessed with it. It have really, really full coverage. This has really good coverage too, but I think it's definitely a lighter consistency than the Remarkable. And also I'm starting to see that it's starting to set like a soft matte. So we're gonna take a little bit more. And I think the color is on point. Like I think this color is really, really good if you're my complexion. It applies really well with the beauty sponge. I was about to say beauty blender, with the beauty sponge, so I wouldn't say it's absorbing any other product. It's kind of really pushing it in and making it look even better. So now I'm gonna be using my Delium Tools brush. I'm just gonna be applying this all over my skin. I have to say it applies really beautifully with both the sponge and the brush, but I feel like if you want something that's gonna apply it faster and quicker, you're not gonna to have to blend too much, then I would say go in with the brush because you can see just with like one bam, it literally covered most of my cheeks. Let's see, and that's just with one application. And I was able to, with just one of the applications, um, apply even up here. Definitely it's much of a lighter coverage because I only use one application to apply it everywhere on the skin. 
but you can see that it definitely gave you a nice coverage. So you can see the difference here. This is with one and a half layers on. This is with just one layer on all over the skin. So you can see the difference. This is all your preference. If you're somebody that likes to wear something more subtle, something more natural looking, then this is the way to go, but you can still get this result with this foundation. So that's the cool thing about this foundation. I would definitely say it's a buildable foundation. It's not like a full coverage right away. You have full control of how you're going to wear this foundation, which is always awesome, especially for my girls who are looking for something that will cover, but can also be used with very little product. Okay, so now that we're up close, it looks really good on both cheeks. It doesn't give me like a very, very extreme matte finish. It's giving me that soft matte. I can still see a little bit of radiance through my skin. It looks healthy, it looks good. On my forehead, it looks good too. There's only a little part right here, which is kind of breaking apart. I don't know if it was because of the brush or what, but it's just literally right in the middle, right there. I don't know if you guys can capture that but I'm just gonna try to blend it out with my sponge and see if it changes, no. Maybe as I get oily throughout the day, it'll fix it and kind of blend out, but I would just be mindful of that, that it can cling on to your dry patches if you guys have any. If anything, foundation always tends to cling on here. For me, not all foundations, I'm just saying like when I do wear foundation and if it does cling on, that's the areas where it will cling on to, but everything else is fine. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and see how it works with the rest of my products and then I will come back and give you guys my very first impressions on this foundation and then we can go ahead and get our day started so we can see if the new Shameless Marc Jacobs foundation is worth the buy or not, so stay tuned. Okay, so I am back. I went ahead and did my makeup. I did something very simple, literally just a little bit of bronzer, blush, lipstick, mascara, and my brows. And I did put concealer on and I really quickly wanna talk about the concealer situation. It did not blend well with the foundation whatsoever. If you guys can see right here, it's literally breaking apart. Like I'm gonna have to go back in with a um, like wipe and just remove it cause it would not budge. Like this entire area right here is breaking apart. I also wanna say that on this eye, I went ahead and set it and it was just fine, but once I set it, it looks so cakey where the foundation and the concealer meets with the powder. And for powder, I went ahead and used the Patrick Star Matte Cosmetic Setting Powder. I never have any issues with this. And you guys know that this is a very just finely melted um, powder. So the fact that it did not do well and it just looks so cakey and obvious that I have product on my skin right here is awful. So I was actually kind of worried that it was not going to work well with my bronzer. So what I ended up doing was I was patting the bronzer brush instead of like brushing it upwards or downwards. I was literally just patting the product on because I knew that if I went in and started to like brush it out and really blend it out, it was going to just break apart the foundation. I have to say that once the foundation sets, maybe it's because it does have that more matte finish, it sets more of like this powdery consistency, a thicker consistency. So I feel like that's why the products on my skin are breaking apart easily. So this foundation is one of those that once you put it down, that's where it's staying. So you just have to be mindful of that. We're gonna have to see how this continues to do. I hope that maybe it gets better, but I don't know. With the fact that it already like caused this much issue and just created a huge, <laughs> like separation between foundation and my skin already is not good news. So we'll see, um, but I will definitely be back at the end of the day and let you guys know if this is worth the buy or not. So stay tuned to see my final thoughts on this new Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. Okay, so I am back. It is now 7.45 p.m. It's been a long day. I'm first gonna go ahead and start with um, the pros and cons and how it wore throughout the day. So I feel like it looks so much better now. I know it looks a little bit dewy, you can see it. This is what it's gonna look like with no touch-ups, just so that you guys can see before I go ahead and kind of blot it out. Um, I wanted to wear it without any touch-ups because I wanted to show you guys how it wore in case some of you guys don't do touch-ups. And it definitely got dewy right around my nose and also a little bit on my actual nose, but my T-zone actually stayed pretty good. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just take my sponge and kind of dab that little area and just kind of leave the rest. 
And do you see how much of a difference that made immediately? It made a big difference. Um, so I'm gonna quickly just bring the mirror closer so I can see what happened. So I must say that as soon as I went ahead and dabbed my nose area, it started to wipe off some of the product. So some of the product came around my nose and it's starting to also separate. I feel like if you're going in with a sponge or like if you're going in to hug somebody or something, it's gonna like transfer and it's gonna separate. So you have to be very careful when you wear this. Um, I feel like the color is perfecto. Like this is a really good color for me. I like it. If you do plan on getting this, then I would definitely say get the color Y360 if you're my complexion because this one will really work for you guys. Um, from afar, like from where you guys are seeing it, it probably looks really nice and perfected, which like from this distance, it looks fine as well. But if you're really close up and personal, like if you're really investigating a person's face or you're super close to somebody, they're going to notice that there's some areas that are breaking a little bit apart. Um, this doesn't claim to be like an extreme matte finish or anything like that, but I feel like it held up pretty well compared to some foundations that do claim to be matte because you guys just saw that little area that did stay a little bit oily. Um, if I had to compare this to the Remarkable Foundation, I would say if you're looking for something to really like cover you right off the bat and be extremely like full coverage from the beginning and also keep you matte for longer, I would say the Remarkable is your way to go. I feel like that one will not fail you. I feel like this is more so for somebody that has normal to combination skin that really wants to kind of not get too oily throughout the day or doesn't really care if they get oily because I feel like this isn't going to get oily really bad but it's also definitely going to get dewy throughout the day. The Remarkable stays matte all day long. So when I went on Sephora.com the reviewers that had dry skin said that this was a no-go for them that it was like definitely breaking apart and really like showing their dryness which I can totally see because even in the areas where I tend to get a little tiny bit of dryness it was really breaking apart like my forehead right here and then around my um, eyes once I set it with powder and it really mattified it that's where it was like separating so fast and it looks super super like cakey and nasty so I wouldn't recommend this Marc Jacobs foundation for somebody that has dry skin because it will just break apart super fast it's surprising because the consistency is a little bit more liquidy and I felt like I was expecting it to be like more like radiant off the bat I personally feel like for me it's not worth the money I don't think it's worth the like $49 I think it is or $39 I think it's $49 I don't think it's worth it because I feel like I can just use something that won't separate when I'm applying it but still last a long time you know what I miss and I do have to say that Marc Jacobs did such a good job with their color selection so I give them an A plus for that but I think that there's still little things that they could have tweaked. Um, just also make sure that you do not go in with like a lot of powder on this because you will have some kind of cakiness looking foundation. I would say if you're really somebody that's oily and you're looking for a foundation that's gonna keep you nice and matte for longer, I would go with the Remarkable by Marc Jacobs. If you're somebody with normal to combination skin, I think this will be great. If you are somebody that has dry skin, I wouldn't recommend either of them because I feel like there are more of that thicker, fuller, and more like oil-free type of situation. So that's all I have to say today. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to continue seeing more of my Worth the Buyer Now foundation reviews, then please give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys have tried this new Marc Jacobs foundation, then please go ahead and let me know down below if you like it or if you don't like it. And if you haven't tried it, let me know if you'll be trying it. If you guys have any other suggestions on future foundation reviews, then please let me know. And then I'm gonna be reviewing a bunch of other foundations upon your request. So I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and become notified to my videos so that you guys can never miss a video. So I'll be seeing you guys on the bright side. Bye guys.